Hello YouTube and welcome to my review on the Iridani SMG for the Vanu Sovereignty. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll be going over the stats of the gun, seeing how they build up the gun as a weapon. Then I'll be going over the aesthetics of the gun. After that it will be the attachment that is available and finally tactics and whether you should truly buy this gun. Okay, so the weapon fire it clocks in at a nice high 750 RPM, meaning this gun is definitely a close range gun. This is further enforced by the very, very low muzzle velocity of 360 meters a second. It does 143 damage before 10 meters and dropping off to 91 damage at 40 meters. The short reload for this gun clocks at an extremely low 1.74 seconds. This means that this gun can be easily reloaded even in the middle of a firefight. However, the long reload clocks in at a much longer 2.8 seconds. This means that with this gun you're going to le want to leave at least one round in the chamber while you reload. The magazine size for this gun is 25 rounds, however this can be bumped up with extended mags to 35 rounds. It has an ammo pool of 200 rounds. This means that whenever you reload the gun and there are still bullets left in that magazine, bullets will be drawn from the ammo pool to top off that mag. The hip fire accuracy for this gun comes in at a ridiculous one with no attachments at all. However, this gun does have access to a laser sight and an advanced laser sight. So now I'm just going to let you watch a little bit of footage I took just testing out in the VR room just so you can see exactly what it looks like. The ADS accuracy for this gun, that's aiming down sight accuracy. So when you're scoped in, the gun's got a much to be desired 0.3. This means that even though you have your crosshairs on the target, you may occasionally miss at some ranges. Luckily for you though, this is an SMG, you should not be taking it to those ranges. The recoil pulls up and to the right, and I'm going to show you some footage of that so you can have a look at what it looks like. The balloon per shot for this gun is 0 0.05, and you can see in the footage there, this means that towards the end of the mag, the gun does get a little bit wild. So when you put all these stats together, the high rate of fire, the low muzzle velocity, the low damage at range, horrible accuracy, great hip fire accuracy, all of this builds up a gun that's extremely close quarters oriented. Also, with this extremely nice short reload speed, you'll be able to reload it in the middle of combat without too much of a disadvantage, so it's extremely useful for those compulsive reloaders like me. Now, this next bit is a little strange. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going over the gun's aesthetics in my personal view. Bear in mind, guys, this is my own views, and you may have other views, but what influences my decision with the gun is not only its stats and how it performs, but also how it feels when you use it. Do you feel like an absolute badass while using it or do you just feel like another soldier? So, aesthetically in my view the Iridani is a little bland. As you can see in the footage, it does have small bits on the sides that pop out when you fire, but other than that, I really don't like it very much. I'm just going to show you some footage now of what the gun sounds like, suppressed, unsuppressed and with a compensator. the long and short reload animations, and to be honest, I find them a little bland. It's just the same old Vanu pull the battery out and put a new battery in. It's nothing like the Underboss or the NS15 PDW, which all of their very unique, very cool reload animations. However, this is all up to speculate. Now, for the attachments, the Ira Danny has access to scopes 1x to 4x, including the 2x reflex and the night vision scope. It also has access to soft point ammo, always a good choice for the SMGs, a compensator, completely useless, on an SMG at least, a flash suppressor, a suppressor, instead of mag, a dark light flashlight just in case you want to spot out those pesky infiltrators, a laser dot sight and finally an advanced laser dot sight. Personally for this weapon I would recommend soft point ammo, extended mags or the advanced laser sight is up to you and a suppressor. 
However, this is mainly for an infiltrator setup, as I feel the gun works best on the infiltrator, as you may have noticed all the footage here is with the infiltrator glass. However, if you were playing, say, a heavy assault, you aren't exactly sneaky, so I might go for the flash suppressor then, or possibly even no barrel attachment, you know. Sadly, compensator is compl a complete waste of time, because it makes you louder on the map with a close range weapon, reduces your recoil, which is useless for a close range weapon, and also, worst of all, makes your hip accuracy worse, and with an SMG, that's a problem. Now, to conclude this review, I most definitely would recommend the Iridani if you're looking for an SMG that has a little more accuracy and rewards you for aiming down sight. It's slightly less slight to spray and pray than, say, the Sirius, but it pays off. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any other feelings about them or just think that I could do anything better, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye from JoJo.